The woman swam for three days and three nights in the sea and finally reached the shore when she was about to run out of energy. She thought she was going to be stranded on a deserted island, but when she looked up, she saw what looked like a man floating in the water. She rushed forward and when she didn't get a response to her calls, she had to drag him back to the shore. But as a rich wife, she'd never seen anything like this before. Suddenly a pair of hands pushed her away from the ship's waiter, who tried to rescue the captain, but was unable to bring him back. But this was no time to be dismayed, for they were stranded on an unnamed island. In order to wait for the day of rescue, the two decided to build a temporary shelter on the beach where they could stay and be discovered by passing ships. At first, the woman doesn't take the boy seriously, but when she realizes that he's a good survivor, her attitude turns around 180 degrees, with the two of them running the island. Life was good, until one day, while fishing, he accidentally found the rich man lying on the rocks, so he kindly brought him back to the house, but when he got back, he realized that he had become an unnecessary lifeboat and he felt bad about it. It turned out that the rich man was the woman's husband. But when the man woke up, he found the two of them acting close to each other and his jealousy instantly surged. So while they were fishing, they split the temporary shelter into two and demanded that the man move to the humble hut because he had a fire in his hand. The boy was furious, and immediately broke with the man, claiming he would never feed them again. The man, however, doesn't give a damn. Despite his promises, he soon slaps her in the face, and to save face, he decides to go further out into the keys, while the woman smashes up her hard-earned firewood. The woman, on the other hand, smashes open the conch she's worked so hard to find, but as soon as she puts it in her mouth, she's almost sickened by the pungent odor. She had no choice but to approach the boy in the hope that he would make amends and give her some fish, but the boy said she was welcome to take it any time, but her husband was not. Driven by hunger, she also chose to hide it and gave him a kiss on her way out. Unbeknownst to her, the man was still digging in the puddle, delighted that he had caught two small fish. Unaware that the woman was eating a grilled fish. The woman was just eating a grilled fish, but she didn't expect her husband to come back from the sea. She quickly stuffed the uneaten fish into her mouth and then buried the branch on which she had strung the fish in the sand and then went out to greet her with a pretense of great concern. Seeing that his wife was so considerate, he took out two small fish from his pocket although the catch was very small. She did not complain but even bragged about it. But then a poor man who was also stranded on the deserted island passed by and told him that the yellow fish were poisonous and that it would be dangerous to eat them. The rich man was devastated, and in order to prove to him that he could survive on the island, he took the poor man's diving goggles while he was asleep. But it was this action that he would regret for the rest of his life. When the boy rested and found the man is in the sea forked fish looked at the other like a fish. In the water he immediately realized the problem as he expected his own diving has disappeared. Thinking of this he was immediately furious the more he thought the more angry he took the harpoon to look for him to compete with each other to be sure to settle old grudges and new ones together. The man's wife saw that the situation is not right and quickly told the boy to hold her heart does not want the two to conflict. But the boy had never been so aggrieved. And since he could not take it out on the man, he could only take it out on the woman. When the man came back from fishing, he passed by his shed with a smug look on his face, as if he was mocking him for being a good survivor with his own tools. What he didn't expect was the man's surprisingly calm reaction. At first, the man doesn't realize the problem, but when he shows off the fish to his wife, he notices that she is hiding something from him. Combined with the boy's unusual behavior and his wife's strained attitude, the man suddenly came to his senses. Although he was already furious, he could not help but swallow his teeth as he thought he was at a disadvantage. On the contrary, his wife's attitude made him unable to tolerate directly grabbed her hair and pulled to the front of the boy wanted to let her know how big a mistake it was to leave him, but never thought that he had just left his wife on the other side of the warmth of the scene to watch from afar the man's face or angry green. In order to fight hard he could only think of another way to see him first. Smashed the glass bottle to the bottom of the excess glass slag grinding off the bottle. Then used the flame to soften the mouth of the bottle to the bottom of the bottle beforehand polished and glued on the last use of discarded tire skins to simply seal the edges of a pair of simple version of the submarine crystal is ready. He couldn't wait to dive into the water and see the bottom of the sea clearly visible he felt a sense of pride. But that wasn't enough. He had to get the fish free to get back in the game. But not long after the dive he found a hole in the boat despite the holes in the hull. But as long as he could fix it, it was not only his hope to return to civilization, but also his bargaining chip to win over that couple of dogs. When he thought of this, the man was full of strength, but the boat was too heavy and held his breath in the water. But he did not pull it far, he had to float out of the water to change his breath. Even so, the man still did not want to give up the intention of his tireless efforts finally dragged the boat out of the sea. This scene was just seen by the two men on the shore, they also understand that this is the opportunity to leave the island. So the two men rushed forward ready to help. The man expected this reaction and not only refused them, but also threatened to leave them alone on the deserted island for the rest of their lives. For the next few days the man was alone on the beach repairing the boat but just as he was about to finish the boat a new problem arose because to leave the island he had to have enough food. In order to prevent starvation on the way, the man dives into the sea with a harpoon. But it's during this time that his wife and the young man take a fancy to the boat in the middle of his breath. He saw his wife and a young man pushing his boat. He felt bad and immediately rushed towards the shore. But it was already too late. The two had already drifted hundreds of meters away by the sea breeze. But the strange thing is that the man did not get angry, but showed a sinister face, 
and then even laid back in the reclining chair and drank coconut water ready to watch a good show. The two men thought they had escaped from the island, but the woman soon realized the problem. The two panicked because they were miles away from the beach and it was hard to tell if they could swim back to the island. The men have already lit each other's tents and are celebrating their victory with a delicious meal of grilled fish. But just as the man was resting, he heard a noise from behind him, and it turned out to be his wife swimming back, looking at his wife in a state of disarray. The man not only did not care about it, but asked about the boy's whereabouts after all. His wife can swim back to the water better boy must also be able to do so. After a long search, he finally saw the boy in a state of distress, so he carried a harpoon and walked over confidently, convinced that the boy could not be his opponent. Faced with a furious man, the boy sensed the danger and turned to run away, but the man threw his harpoon and hit the boy in the back, and he fell into the water. After the man died, the woman was arrested by her husband and had to apologize to him, considering that she would have to rely on him to survive in the future. A year later, a cruise ship passed by the island and found the woman in the shed. When her husband didn't come back, she lied that she was alone on the island and took the man's lighter to survive. When the husband surfaced, he also spotted his wife sitting in the boat and excitedly waved to indicate his position. But the wife looked into the cabin to make sure no one had heard her husband's shouts, and then she smiled a profound smile. By the time the man realized what was happening, it was too late. The cruise ship had already sailed a long way away, and there was no way to catch up with it, and there was no way to know when the next ship would pass by.